हेलो चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्रिया गुलाटी मैथ्स आई होप यू विल लाइक माय टू डेज वीडियो इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज शेयर लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल लेट अस कम टू आवर क्वेश्चन पॉलिनोमल चैप्टर एक्सरसाइज 2.3 क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थर्ड पार्ट डिवाइड द पॉलिनोमल पी एक्स बाय द पॉलिनोमल जी एक्स एंड फाइंड द क्वेश्चन एंड रिमाइंडर पी एक्स इक्व टू एक्स पावर फोर माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स जी एक्स इक्व टू टू माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन नाउ यू हैव टू डू पी एक्स डिवाइड बाय जी एक्स सो वॉट यू सी इन द पी एक्स पॉलिनोमियल फोर पावर देन वन पावर पावर थ्री एंड पावर टू टर्म्स आर मिसिंग सो हाउ विल आई राइट पॉलिनोमियल इन द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एक्स फोर प्लस जीरो एक्स पावर थ्री प्लस जीरो एक्स पावर टू माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स दिस जीरो एक्स क्यूब प्लस जीरो एक्स स्क्वायर आई हैव इंट्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम माई ओन साइड जस्ट टू शो पावर इन द डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर पावर फोर पावर थ्री पावर टू पावर वन कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ द पावर्स ऑफ एक्स By introduce introducing these two terms, I am not doing any change because this is zero and this also equals to zero. So this is called as writing down the standard form of the polynomial, decreasing order of the powers of x. Right? Now g x is two minus x square. I am simply rearranging them. The x square term I will write down first and then the constant term. So g x will be like this minus x square plus two. Now I have to divide p x divided by g x. So p x I will write down. Inside the division sign, so I write down x four plus zero x cube plus zero x square minus five x plus six. This is your divisor. I write down the left side minus x square plus two. Now I have to follow my division process the same way as I have explained to you in my first and second part of this question number one. So what we do in order to obtain the first quotient, first term of the quotient, how it is obtained? Divide the first term of the dividend divide by First term of the divisor means x power four divided by minus x square will give you the the first term of the quotient. So how I write first term of the quotient equals to x po x power four minus x square. Cancel it out, you will get minus x square. This x square is the first term of the quotient. So I write down in the quotient side minus x square. What next I have to do now? Minus x square ko I will multiply with the divisor. So I write down minus x square into minus x square plus two. Open the bracket distributive law. Minus x square into minus x square gives you x power four. Minus minus x square into plus two gives you minus two x square. Right? In this, what do you notice? Power four, power two. Power three is missing, so I can always write down from my own side. This can also be written as x power four plus zero into x cube because zero into x cube gives you zero. So I am not doing any change at all. So but still, in order to introduce the power three term, I can write down zero into x cube. So I write down this like this: x power four plus zero x cube minus two x square. These three terms I will write down below the terms of the dividend. So fourth power term written below fourth power, third power term written below third power, second uh, power term written second uh, below the second power term. So I write down x four from here. All these term, three terms I write down below the dividend term. So it will become x four plus zero x cube minus two x square. What next? Now I have to subtract these two polynomials. So I will have to change the sign of the second row terms. So this is plus here. So I write down minus below it. This is plus sign, so I write on minus sign below it. This is minus sign, so I write on plus sign below it. Now, in order to subtract these two polynomials, I will consider these new signs. So, what is your first term? X four minus X four, which gives you zero, which you can simply show by cancelling them out. Now, next will be zero X cube minus zero X cube. It means zero minus zero, which gives you zero, which can you can show by again cancelling them out. Next is zero X square. Zero x square is zero. It means zero plus two x square is how much? Plus two x square, right? So this is the term which I have obtained after subtracting these two polynomials, right? अब आपको next क्या करना है children? You have to copy down this next term from the dividend, which is minus five x. ये constant term है क्योंकि इसमें कोई x वाला term होता ही नहीं है. तो I can copy down this term also at the same time. So I copy down minus five x plus six. Now what I have to do? This is your remainder. 
which this is considered as to be the new dividend this remainder is considered to be the new dividend so what i will do in order to obtain the second term of the quotient this new dividend ka first term divide by divisor first term is new dividend ke liye divisor is same so first term of new dividend divide by first term of the divisor will give you the second term of the quotient so how i write second term of the quotient equals to first term of the new dividend that is 2x square minus first term of the divisor which is minus x square so i write on 2x square minus uh, sorry 2x square divided by minus x square x square x square cancels so you will get minus 2 what is this minus 2 this is second term of the quotient so i write down minus 2 on the quotient side right now what i will do this minus 2 i will multiply with the divisor so i do minus 2 into minus x square plus 2 open the bracket distributive law minus 2 into minus x square gives you 2x square minus 2 into plus 2 gives you minus 4 right 2x square minus 4 can again be written as 2x square plus 0x minus 4 Why I'm writing it like this because in this the x term was missing, so I can always write it down as zero into x. So two x square plus zero x minus four. This all these three terms will be written down below this your new dividend, right? So I write down two x square plus zero x minus four. Now these two polynomials I have to subtract again. Change the sign of the second row terms. This is plus sign, so write down minus below it. This is plus sign, write down minus sign below it. This is minus sign, so write down plus sign below it. Now I will do the subtraction by considering these new signs. So two x square minus two x square gives you zero. You can show it by cancelling them out. Next minus five x minus zero x means minus five x minus zero will give you minus five x. Next is plus six plus four gives you plus ten, right? So what you obtain? Minus five x plus ten. So this is your remainder. Now what do you see in this remainder? The degree of the remainder is one. The degree of the divisor is two. So whenever the degree of the remainder becomes less than the degree of the divisor, your division process is completed. Write down. Okay. So this what you obtain in the last remainder is minus five x and quotient is minus x square minus two. So answer me finally what you will write down. Therefore quotient equals to Minus x square minus two and remainder equals to minus five x plus ten. I hope children, this question is clear to you. Bye bye.